That was, that was such a, a, a great column. It made me think of so many different things. And the one thing about the seawater I remember a reading in Dr. Murray's book is uh, that he had to figure out a way to the, the salinity of the salt, uh, the salinity of the salt, but the, the salinity could actually kill the plants. Is that right? If you just take uh, yeah. salty water? Yeah. The, the, the stories that go with it are two, one, one biblical, historical, and the other pretty recent. Uh, yeah. Of course, you know, everybody remembers the tsunami, and it, they remember that it killed everything. Uh, what they what didn't happen is you, you know it was it, a year later it wasn't a news story anymore but if you there are news stories it's on our website is that the next year they had the greatest crop in recorded human history in that area. Wow. So in in excess, yeah, absolutely. You know, seawater can kill anything, but if you if you if you properly dilute it, everything will thrive. And the biblical story is, you know, people remember that the Romans used to invade countries and salt the fields. And mm -hmm. the reason they did it is they wanted to take control of the country through economic, uh, you know, without firing a shot, if you will, if they could. And, and so they, that's what they would do. But again, they don't, you don't see the follow-up story, which is next year they had the best crop in recorded history. So it's a, it becomes down to a, a matter of dilution? Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I remember yeah, and, it talked about economics. And economics, okay. of course, because you know it's tough. It's tough to uh, to ship seawater to South Dakota. 